Hello everybody, I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and before I start off this review, I want to apologize for not having any episode, having an episode review of last night's episode of Arrow, because I was just very upset yesterday. I couldn't get into the proper headspace or the proper mood to, <clears throat> to, um make a video and I didn't have the energy to fully make a video review of last night's episode of Arrow and I think if you are an American like I am I think you can imagine the, what that reason is because I'm very scared about our future because of who our new goddamn fucking president is and I'll just leave it at that because I ref because I don't want to talk about politics on my YouTube channel. But that's all I will say about that fucking matter. I, I, I'm I've, you can tell I'm very. Uh, anyways, ignore that. Let's just try to keep on staying happy, staying positive. Let's get into this episode of Legends of Tomorrow because I really enjoyed it. Uh, hang on, let me just. Anyways, I really enjoyed this episode. I liked how, and of course, if you haven't seen this episode yet, spoilers. Uh, there will be uh, spoilers throughout this uh, video. So if you have not watched this episode yet, then please do not watch this video. So I really enjoyed the 80s setting of this episode. Of course, you know, the 80s is my favorite decade uh, that I haven't lived through. So I, I feel like, you know... It, it didn't really feel like it was all about the decade like it didn't feel like it was a huge the decade played a huge part into it so like how they did with the episodes where they were in the 50s or the 60s or no, the 50s or the episodes in last season when they were in the 50s or the 70s you know that you could really feel the decade this one you know it's like they had the clothes and the i mean i really enjoyed like the synths they had in the soundtrack but uh overall you know it didn't feel the decade didn't feel vitally important or it didn't very much influenced the episode but I enjoy the references you know they wore the clothes they had they mentioned some of the technology like I love the line that Nate's head when he talked about the CD-ROM and how they called the CD-ROM the cutting edge and I really like the news report how it talked about um <clears throat> uh, how it was in four by three and you could see like some sort of VHS film grain wait that doesn't make sense you, you, you know what I mean it fit the decade but overall I really like this episode. Uh, I really like how they, um, how more we and more we get to see Ray and um, Mick's friendship uh, continue to grow. And I really like the message how, uh, you know, he tried to want, how of course we know Mick hates emotions, but he, at first, you know, he wanted Ray to, to be more like Snart, but then over time he realizes he can't be Snart because it just brings back memories of him and he wants to move, continue on thinking with the present so you know he says you know what don't be snart just be ray and it was funny too because ray says well i don't know how to be ray anymore because i've lost my suit and yet again he just has to realize who he is as himself and i'm and you know the more that this season continues on i'm sure the more we will continue to see him grow and evolve and i'm sure of course he'll build a new suit but overall i really i thought it was really funny seeing ray use the cold gun at first how he tried shooting him down and then he just said and mick just says you killed my beers and like how when they were in that at that stakeout they were just eating and then he just got to throw that he was throwing gray's apples away and then he punched the radio saying i hate the 80s <laughs> it's all really just great moments uh the other thing i enjoyed seeing was we got to see more of uh we finally got to see the jsa being addressed more you know we got to see um amaya and nate go into the 
and to the farm or fuck me the the old JSA building and we got to see in older obsidian and I'm glad we got to see more of him because I felt like he was the one character in the JSA episode that was very pushed to the side like we got to see him like turn the lights out in the sky from the sun uh, in that one episode but other than that we didn't see jack shit from him so I'm glad that we got to see a lot more from him and um yeah so it was good to see him there and i'm glad that you know amaya got to see more about um you know i'm glad that uh at first you know she didn't want to talk to nate about the gsa and now she's starting to tell him more and more about the uh about his um you know about uh about about uh captain or is it commander commander St commander captain commander steel you know about his grandfather so uh we got to see a lot more character growth there and the other thing that i wanted to mention was i really liked seeing um so the other thing that needs to be addressed um i really liked that we got to see the younger martin stein again i thought that was really well done uh and it's funny how of course you know he still remembers the last time he saw them and uh, we got to see more of how he's so devoted to his work you know that he forgets about his wife and i it's also really funny to see he, the older martin and the younger martin argue with each other um and so you know they gave the important lesson of you have to stay you, you know as important as your work is you have to remember that your wife is the most important thing and you know i you know good quality lessons there um but overall i also really in, liked uh you got to see sarah grow more in this episode how all she wanted to do you know, well, last time she encountered damien dark all she wanted to do was kill him and now you you're starting to show restraint but was i the only one that was worried how he how uh she was telling dark about his future Am I the only one that was really worried about that? Because it's like when I was watching that, I mean, yeah, it's the baddest moment that, you know, she got like one level up over him and she got to scare him. But at the same time, it's like, why are you telling Dark about the future? You know, it's kind of remind, uh, kind of reminds me about Rip telling, um, telling, uh telling Vandal Savage about his family in the future. It's like, you shouldn't do that. And I wonder if there will be repercussions from that in the future. So if there's one thing I can say I didn't like in the episode, like other than that, of Sarah is always great, except this one moment kind of worried me. It's like, why would you tell Damien Dark about what happens in the future? That means he's gonna, does that mean he's gonna try to go to the future and, and change all that? It's, I don't know. I don't know, it's just, Kind of, kind of worries me that she would tell him about his future. But other than that, you know, I or I'm glad that we're going to see the Legion of Doom more. You know, we got to finally see Dark and uh, and Reverse Flash team up. And the one thing that I really liked was uh, how it, how um, at first, you know, uh, Dark was doing this power or. Thawne was doing this power move where he didn't, well, how, like, d how uh, Dark didn't want to go into the partnership, and, but now, at the end of that, Dark is the one begging uh, Thawne to be into that, and I liked how we got to see that time-traveling pod, how we didn't get to see that until the end of season one of The Flash, so I thought that was excellent, you know, seeing that and just seeing Dark, um, you know, seeing his mind getting blown by, uh, you know, by actually traveling through time i thought that was great and um so the next thing i want to mention what else is there to mention um i think that's pretty much it you know i thought the action sequences were great as always i thought it was really funny how how mick was telling ray don't be you have to be a rule breaker and then he crosses the streams and just that is the one rule you do not break i thought that was funny um Anything else? Any other good moments? I think I pretty much covered everything. So yeah, that's the end of my review for uh, the season two, episode five of um, 
Oh, what is this? Ep Compromised. Yep. Yeah, so I really like this episode a lot. I thought this episode wasn't as amazing as the last episode because that's... I'm sorry I didn't get to do a review for last week's episode. I was just very busy. But, uh, you know, I thought the whole stuff with um, the, go the Civil War zombies was great. And I thought, you know, Jack's um, dealing, you know, with the re dealing with slavery it was just so powerful to watch and i think that was uh i i i don't know what the actor the, the guy that plays jacks i don't know what his name was Fran is franz drama just franz like his last name starts with a d i forget what it is but i thought his performance was just amazing in that episode and that episode is easily a 9.5 or a 10 so that's just my quick thoughts on that episode i thoroughly enjoyed it so i don't think it was as good as that episode but this was still greatly enjoyable to watch so i give this an an 8.5 out of 10 so anyways those are my thoughts on this episode uh please subscribe to the channel so you don't uh, miss out on my future episode reviews and you can also watch me on the n4g tv podcast on the n4g tv youtube channel and you can also support me on patreon i would appreciate it um if you would like to donate take a look at my patreon page so anyway thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye